Hello and welcome. Let's talk about acoustic neuroma. Acoustic neuroma is also known as vestibular schwannoma or eighth nerve tumor. The incidence is that the acoustic neuroma constitutes about 80% of all cerebellopontine angle tumors and 10% of all the brain tumors. Pathology It is a benign encapsulated extremely slow growing tumor of the eighth nerve. Microscopically, it consists of elongated spindle, spindle cells with rod shaped nuclei lying in rows or palisades. Bilateral tumors are seen in patients with neurofibromatosis. Origin and growth of tumor The tumor almost always arises from the swan cells of the vestibular but rarely from the cochlear division of the eighth knob within the internal auditory canal. As it expands, it causes widening and erosion of the canal and then appears in the cerebellopontine angle. Here it may grow entire superiorly to involve fifth nerve or inferiorly to involve 9th, 10th and 11th cranial nerves. In later stages, it causes displacement of the brain stem, pressure on the cerebellum and increased intracranial tension. The growth of the tumor is extremely slow and the history may extend over several years. In the classification, depending on the size, the tumor is classified as intracanalicular, small size, medium size and large size. The clinical features. Usually, uh, 40 to 60 years of age and both sex are usually equally affected. There may be cochlear vestibular symptoms with progressive unilateral sensory neural hearing loss often accompanied by tinnitus which is the presenting symptom in case of majority of the cases. The vestibular symptoms may be imbalance or unsteadiness. The cranial lobe involvement shows a reduced corneal insensitivity, numbness, aparesthesia of face, hypoesthesia of the posterior meter wall, loss of the taste, Reduce lacrimation on streamer's test, delayed blink reflex may be seen, dysphagia, hoarseness, and other kind of nerves like uh, 11, 12, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th may be affected when tumor is very large. If there is brain stem involvement, there may be ataxia, weakness, and numbness of the arms, there may be exaggerated tendon reflexes, there may be raised intracranial tension, including headache, nausea, vomiting, diplopia, and papilledema with burning of vision. The investigation and diagnosis includes audiological tests like pewton audiometry, speech audiometry, recruitment, phenomenon, short increment sensitivity index test, threshold tone decay test, stepedial reflex decay test, vestibular test, and neurological tests. There may be radiological test with uh, plain X rays, Cox CT scan, MRI with uh, gadolinium contrast, portable angiography. There may be evoked response audiometry, CSF examination, which shows uh, increased protein level. Now, differential diagnosis includes Meniere's disease and cerebellopontine angle tumors like meningioma, primary cool statoma, and arachnoidal cyst. Now, treatment The surgery includes medial cranial fossa approach, surgery, trans labyrinthine approach, sub occipital approach, and combined trans labyrinthine sub occipital approach. Our radiotherapy can be given with X knife or gumbach knife surgery. End of the topic.